the title of the presentation is the concept of the environmental uh, quality loss function uh, for the gilling industries, cotton gilling industries, uh, for Indian cotton, uh, double roller cotton gilling environment. So this is related to the environmental quality. The most of the, uh, you know, the production, we focus only on quantity, but quality, especially environmental quality, is considerable effects on our quality of living. So this is the performance characteristics. It's called a quality loss function. This is a target. This tau means target. Tau minus delta. Tau plus delta. So the upper low, upper specification level and lower specification level. So within this particular place, it is called a loss function. This is called the environmental loss quality environmental quality loss function so these have to be minimized in terms of rupees it is the loss to the industry as well as loss to the country so the environmental health impact assessment for the insect resistant bt uh, seed cotton uh, has been already uh, you know presented uh, and uh, this is the biodiversity loss uh, especially in uh, due, due to the uh, you know, genetically modified organisms, how the biodiversity loss has been taken place. So the, that is, uh, you know, uh, uh, measured, monitored and controlled by means of what is called the uh, cross-function approach, cross-function method. The cross-function method is given here. It is the, the purpose of this particular research is to identify and study the environmental health problems existing with the present chrome rollers employed in cotton ginning industries and uh, also understand the environmental quality loss function by means of process approach to design and develop eco-friendly non-chrome rubberized cotton fabric rollers and evaluate their performance with particular reference to environmental and social impacts so this is the uh, you know the roller ginning machines in our country so this roller ginning uh, McCarthy principle was innovated uh, during 1840 in UK and USA and this particular roller is, was made up of walrus due to the interfibrillary action the environmental loss function was very very low and uh, after uh, 1940 UK and USA banned the use of walrus and uh, the start of developing the new rollers to alternate the walrus and this is the roller, it's red color you see, it's called rubberized cotton fabric rollers. In our country, we use this chrome composite leather clad rollers. Now, what is the difference between this uh, chrome composite leather clad rollers, which is uh, containing the lot of chromium pollution in cotton ginning industries? And it also contaminate the environmental quality loss in lint cotton. The lint cotton get contaminated, this seed cotton and this lint cotton obtained from this generis. So this uh, particular uh, research paper uh, focus on the environmental uh, quality loss function, quadratic loss function. How this, how, how this quality of the lint cotton obtained from the farmers, not able to obtain 100%. Percentage. So only 20% only is preserved. Why 20% is preserved? 30% is the ginning percentage. And uh, only 20% uh, or 15% uh, because the environmental quality is considered very important here. Why environmental quality? Because this is a roller itself, which is a very important uh, in the cotton ginning process. Ginning, uh, ginning means separation of cotton fiber from the seed cotton. So this roller should be walrus before uh, the inventor who has invented this McCarthy, McCarthy principle is uh, the walrus animal because this uh, walrus have considerable interfibrillary action. So the seed, you know, the lint and the seed, kapas, the lint is separated from the seed. So that is by McCarthy principle that is holding the fiber and remove the seed from the seed. Get affected because of the environmental quality. And this is a total plant quality management has to be implemented. So in order to preserve the cotton fiber, it has to be walrus. But this is not walrus material. This is called walrus material because this is now made up of chrome composite. After 100 years, this only chrome composite is used. It has considerable chromium pollution. So it means considerable environmental quality degradation take place, you know. So environmental degradation take place.
This is called environmental degradation. So this loss function has been uh, proposed in this particular research project. So this is called a loss function. How this McCarthy principle and how this environmental effects take place. So this is called a environmental impact assessment. So this environmental impact assessment has been mitigated by means of uh, new rollers, the eco-friendly uh, new rollers by means of this process approach. This is called a cross-functional process approach in order to mitigate the environmental problems. This yeah, yeah, traditionally it was called functional organizational management. Now the quality focus takes place, especially environmental quality focus, in order to understand the uh, what are the various uh, uh, environmental health problems uh, in context to the cross-functional uh, management. It's called cross-functional management in plant biological and uh, biotechnological organizations. And uh, nominal the best. So this is a no nominal the best. This is a nominal the best. And uh, this is the this one is this curve is smaller the better. This is smaller the better. The target value for smaller the better is zero. There are no negative values for the performance characteristics. And uh, here it is the larger the better. This is the larger. So larger the better. And minimum loss zero loss here because this is a minimum loss here performance characteristics. So the loss in terms of rupees also minimum here. So this is called a nominal the best. Nominal the best. It is called the environmental quality function, quadratic equation. So this particular uh, equation is L is equal to K uh, multiplied by Y minus tau squared. So tau and tau minus delta, tau plus delta. So this particular project has considered the environmental quality loss function, loss coefficient of nearly around 0.7. So 0.7 coefficient because of the more loss. So this loss to be mitigated. How this loss to be mitigated? By means of the eco-friendly technology. So this is called eco-friendly technology. So earlier walrus has a thick layer of blubber. Blubber is an important part of the walrus marine mammal's anatomy. It stores energy, insulates heat, and increases buoyancy. Energy is stored in the thick oily layer of blubber. Blubber covers the entire body of walruses except for the fins, flippers, and plugs. Walrus leather is extremely exotic. It has a deep and strong grainer skin and texture, interfibular, that is situated between fibrils for lint cotton cellulose fiber adherence. The innovative chrome free leather product does not contain hazardous chrome, heavy metal, and acidic substance. So, the presently used CCLC rollers, chromium. So, it is a large quantity of chromium is available. So, it is toxic to humans. As per the ECHO standard, is maximum 0.1 ppm. So, 85% of the world's leather is chrome tanned. And it is a, a how this particular commercial double roller jeans in our country, they are using this called CCLC rollers. And these rollers have considerable effects on the fiber quality as well as the yarn quality. And uh, so it should be properly uh, used. The machine uh, part should be modified into leather, uh, uh, leather free, the chromium free leather. So this is the investigation device where the new rollers, this is called uh, presently used CCLC washers, chrome composite leather crayon rollers washers. These are, you know, these are all uh, shaft which is packed here. So these kind of uh, washers, the uh, gin, gin rollers are used in the Indian double uh, roller ginning industries. And the grooving also done, like this grooving, it's called mode grooves. So this uh, remove the lint cotton, it's called seed grid. And uh, this uh, roller wearing data, how this lint uh, removed from this and chromium toxic also take place. Chromium toxic uh, effects take place in this uh, cotton uh, roller ginning process in our country. And uh, USA and uh, UK never use this kind of CCLC rollers. They use uh, only the eco-friendly rollers. But in India, how much uh, environmental loss take place, environmental quality loss function take place? So this is uh, the particular study has been taken place. This is a used washer in Indian cotton ginning industries. And uh, this is a powder, chromium specific dust. So this is a toxic exogen chromium. And uh, these are all the used washers. And these have contamination, pollution in this lint cotton. So lint cotton of any foreign matter uh, is a se serious problem. So this is called the white gold, the plant tissue, you know, plant cellulose. Plant cellulose, if it is contaminated with the chromium, 
and due to this powder and this are cancer producing effect in the further uh, products like the spinning yarn and fabrics and it have dermal cancer effects as well as absorption in stomach and uh, the uh, lung cancer as well as the uh, you know absorption in the uh, stomach stomach cancers so that is why this particular uh, you know environmental loss function deployment that is deploying from one position to another position how the fiber quality should be preserved by means of the eco friendly rollers so that is a, a environmental quality uh, function that is uh, nearly around 0.8 the factor is 0.8 is considered in this project and how this air pollution have considerable effects because the lint cotton contaminated by the chromium this have, our previous speaker has told about the synergy synergy means augmenting the combining effect so the synergistic poison take place and uh, it is it is since it is a lint cotton is a domestic product it have considerable not only occupational it has a, a, a non occupational health and unsafe conditions in environment so this week is celebrated as a national safety week in our country india celebrates national safety week in all the places so this unsafe uh, agricultural health problems should be mitigated so this is uh, how this atomic absorption spectro photometer that is used for measuring the uh, chromium uh, pollution in cotton ginning industries so this is uh, how this uh, indian double roller ginning industries so indian double roller ginning industries uh, gin the seed cotton it's a seasonal product and uh, gins uh, the lint uh, the various kind of seed cotton in this roller double roller two rollers are available these rollers are very important in cotton ginning process it removes the lint cotton from the seed right so this is a very important element and the, the the environmental quality function not the product quality product quality also very important and the environmental quality function deployment how it has been taken place like how much contamination take place in the lint cotton spun yarns see these are all the various results that has been taken the 1900 ppm and 990 ppm as against the uh, norms of uh, the eco friendly standard of 0.1 ppm similarly other by products and uh, this uh, air pollution uh, level is monitored and measured in this uh, cotton ginning industries and this uh, the transportation of chromium pollution see how this chromium pollution take carry forward in the ginning industries chromium transportation in cotton ginning industries and uh, the permission value how much it is and how much eco standards uh, permits and uh, how much loss function environmental loss function is there and uh, these are all the uh, air pollution studies that have been taken place and uh, the lint uh, percentage ginning percentage and uh, the various other fiber quality uh, percentage this is uh, called a ginning roller investigation device experimentation device because you require the research model you know in order to investigate the lint quality in commercial aspects so you require laboratory model and this model uh, gin is used to find and remove the lint from the seed cotton and this is the various rollers that have been investigated uh, at par with the walrus because walrus have been outdated because of the sustainability effects climate effects and uh, these rollers have been uh, you know measured monitored and controlled in cotton ginning industries see this is a chrome roller and this is a rubberized cotton fabric rollers so this is a eco friendly technology so the as a greenhouse gas uh, is uh, you know related to the population and appliances and uh, the uh, technology uh, sustainable technology so in order to mitigate this uh, the uh, double roller gins double rollers have been innovated and fabricated in a cotton ginning industry at belgaum and uh, this is successfully lint uh, removing the lint cotton and it has good fiber quality preservation and the environmental quality loss has been considerably reduced from uh, nearly about 20 percentage to 65 percentage has increased profitability the profitability has been considerably increased to 65 because of the quality loss function this particular quality of the fiber and the health impacts the environmental health impacts the degradation of the cellulose obtained here this is called cellulose the cellulose is a uh, uh, preservation uh, and uh, this uh, 
uh, is, uh, from the uh, you know from the farmer so it has to be preserved and uh, if this is not preserved what will happen this environmental quality have effects so how this uh, preserved so this is the development of the uh, newly rubberized cotton fabric rollers I mean cotton indian cotton uh, roller ginning industries that is increasing the uh, loss function that is environmental loss function deployed from the position that is uh, to the maximum that is uh, how much uh, the variation degree of uh, you know the variation understanding the variations creation of the variations to zero defect the earlier the defects were nearly more than 10000 ppm and now the defect have been considerably reduced to six sigma that is the quality is six sigma understanding the variations how much it has able to control the environmental quality loss from 20 percentage to 65 percentage and these are all the development stages how the rubberized cotton fabric rollers on washers have been uh, you know uh, incorporated in cotton ginning industries to maximize the quality of the lint cotton obtained from this cotton ginning industries so this is a new eco friendly ginning rollers to control the environmental pollution and to to maximize the quality of the product that is called lint cotton to maximize the degree of excellence of the fiber quality the yarn quality the textile quality dye catching properties so cotton technological parameters since i was in cotton technological laboratory in matunga bombay so for about 6 years so these are all the various data uh, that has been obtained from the eco friendly gin roller and uh, chrome composite uh, you know gin lint so how much the uh, yarn quality these are all the yarn quality fiber quality percentage this is the scanning electron uh, microscopic test so how this uh, the micro uh, micronair value and the yarn properties so these are all preserved fiber quality uh, parameters these are new rollers which are used in this cotton ginning industries and removing the and uh, you know manufacturing the improved lint cotton from the cotton ginning industries so various mechanical properties fiber properties and other uh, roller parameters cotton technological properties and uh, ginning technology so main uh, thing is included here is sustainable ginning technology so this particular picture shows the sustainable ginning technology to consider the environmental quality loss it is called quadratic loss it is called quadratic loss how much quadratic loss has been controlled here so it's a very important uh, in context to the plant biology and plant biotechnology so how this particular uh, you know uh, the ginning uh, improved ginning method it is called improved ginning method has been taken place in the cotton ginning environment improved ginning industries so the concept of environmental quality loss function deployment so the environmental quality loss function so with this respect to the air pollution with respect to the water pollution with respect to the land degradation is proposed as total quality management is a total quality management this particular uh, management approach is called uh, cross functional uh, management cross functional organizational method in plant biology and biotechnological organizations so this is the conclusions and it has considerable uh, you know advantages uh, that also morning i have told about the bt seed cotton and this bt seed cotton also have considerable effects on the uh, environment so that is why this particular seed cotton has to be uh, you know uh, breeded in sustainable manner the sustainable development which is a kind of development that meets the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability and the efficacy of future generations to meet their own needs so this eco friendly rubberized cotton fabric roller development for cotton roller gins have been published in journal of agricultural safety and health that is published by asab now earlier it was called asae it's a 100 years old institution american society of agricultural and biological engineers volume 13 number 1 january 2007 rg factories point 2 rg impact factories point 7 so this particular uh, journal has published because this journal is uh, authorized by the united states department of agriculture uh, mesilla park institute southern western cotton uh, ginning laboratory uh, mesilla park so that institute director has uh, recommended this particular article should be published in journal of agricultural safety and health 
So this particular paper is a loss function deployment, environmental loss function deployment in context to agricultural biotechnology and agricultural biology safety and health management. So this is another important publication. Uh, so with this, uh, I thank one and all to give me an opportunity uh, and elucidate uh, uh, my two research papers in this uh, uh, very prestigious conference. Thank you one and all.